minor 7, it's built off a D minor triad, and it has a flat 7. The flat 7s are always a whole step below the root, so if the root is D, we're going to come down, this is a half step, a whole step, to find the flat 7. There we have D minor 7. The next chord is G minor 7, so we're going to start with a G minor triad, and come down a whole step from the root to get the minor 7th. So here's the root up an octave, half step, a whole step. And there's our G minor 7. I was playing G minor 7 like this. This is an inversion of G minor 7. Next chord is E minor 7 with a flat 5. So really all we've done is we've taken an E minor chord and dropped the 5th. Here's the root, 3rd, and the 5th. Once again, here's the flat 7. It's hanging out a whole step below the root. Here's E, down a half step, down a whole step. The next chord is A7, and for a lot of the A7 chords, I'll just play the root and the flat 7, which is down a whole step from the root. So we have the root here, A, and then I'm going to play G as well, which is a flat 7. I won't play the third. Sometimes I will. It's a little muddy, though. Sometimes I'll just play the third and the flat 7. F major 7 is the next chord. We have F major triad. And then we have a major 7th, which is only a half step below the root. Here's F major 7th. To play all the voicings I just showed you in a stride pattern, we want to start by playing the root on beat 1, down an octave, and then the chord on the next beat. You might need to start off with just playing a triad. So four notes are harder to find than three. And if this is too tricky, you might need to break it down even further and just play the octaves or the fifth, leave out the third. Improvising on Summertime, we want to use the D blues scale, which looks like this. We have D, F, G, A flat, A, C, and D. And that works with all the chords in Summertime, not just D. We could use it on any of the other chords.